Hello and welcome my dear students. Today we are going to learn English grammar new topic that is conjunctions. The three conjunctions that we are going to look into are and, but, or. So let's start today's session. First of all children, let us understand what do we mean by conjunctions. Conjunctions are joining words. They are also known as connecting words. They join words or group of words or short sentences. Let's try to understand the three conjunctions and, but, or with some examples. The first conjunction that we are going to learn is and. We use and to combine similar ideas or add information. Here are some examples. Tom loves to play cricket. Tom loves to play football. Here we are talking of Tom and his love to play the two games. So when we combine these two sentences, our answer would be Tom loves to play cricket and football. Dog is a faithful animal. Dog is a clever animal. Here we are talking about dog and its qualities. And hence, when we join these two sentences, our answer would be Dog is a faithful and clever animal. Here the conjunction that we used is and to join these two sentences. The third example. This Friday is a holiday. I would like to go for shopping. When we join these two sentences where we are adding information, our answer would be this Friday is a holiday and I would like to go for shopping. So just now what we have done is that we have joined certain sentences using and. Now children, when we join these sentences using and, we have to remember a thing. Let me try to explain it with the example which we have done just now. Tom loves to play cricket. Tom loves to play football. If you observe these two sentences, you will realize that the words Tom loves to play are repeated twice. So when we join these two sentences, to make one, what we have to do is that we have to remove the part that is repeated. So the second part of the sentence, Tom loves to play, is repeated. Hence, we will remove that part and in place of that, we will use the conjunction AND. As a result, our answer would be Tom loves to play cricket and football. The second conjunction that you are going to learn is but. We use but to show a difference or an opposite ideas. Here are some examples. Ram ran fast. He finished third in the race. Here children, we are talking of an opposite ideas and there when we combine these two sentences, our answer would be Ram ran fast, but he finished third in the race. Here 
is our second example. Aryan wants to play. He is sick. So let's combine these two sentences into one. Aryan wants to play but he is sick. In the third example, giraffe is tall, dog is short. Here we are talking about the difference in height and hence our answer would be giraffe is tall but dog is short. Now we move on to the third conjunction that is or. We use or to show a choice between two or more options. Here are some examples. Do you want ice cream? Do you want pizza? Here the choice is between ice cream and pizza. So when we combine these two sentences, our answer would be do you want ice cream or pizza? Chota Bheem can go to the park. He can go to the cinema theater. Here the choice is between park and cinema theater. So when we combine these two sentences, our answer would be Chota Bheem can go to the park or cinema theater. Third example, is it Monday, is it Tuesday? So our answer would be, is it Monday or Tuesday? So children, here too, when we join sentences using OR, we have to remember the same point that we had done when we were joining sentences using AND. Let me tell you with this example. Do you want ice cream? Do you want pizza? Here you will notice that the words do you want is repeated twice. So when we combine these two sentences, what is going to happen? Yes, the repeated part will be disappear. And in place of that, we will use a conjunction OR. So children, in today's class, what did we learn? Yes, we learned that conjunctions are joining words. And we have seen the usage of three conjunctions. We use AND to join similar ideas. We use BUT to join opposite ideas. And we have used OR whenever we want to make a choice. Well done children. So remember my dear children, the three conjunctions and, but, or. We use and to join similar ideas, but to join opposite ideas and or to make a choice. I hope my children have been able to follow the usage of conjunctions. Thank you children. Goodbye and see you soon.